Hi, this is Muhammad Anul Islam from uh, Tomi Khatun Government Girls High School in online classes. I would like to welcome you all. And today, I hope you are all well. I am also fine. Today, I have designed the classes, uh, my class, for the students from class 8 to 10. And the, uh, and the topic today is narration of predictive sentence. Okay. You know what is operative sentence? Operative sentence is that type of sentence by which a wish, a prayer, a desire, or a long, longing is made for someone or a group of people or any other subject. It is the operative sentence uh, as it is a matter of wishing or praying. So it is not very hard for you to change it. And the reporting bar of all types of sentence is very important. And look at the board. Here are three sentences written. The first one is how foolish the boy is. The second one, what an intelligent man you are. The last one is what a funny story I told. If you look at them, we will have the idea that two ways of forming a brief sentence here are written. One is uh, using what at the beginning <coughs> or as another is using how at the beginning. We can form the operative sentence by two ways. One is using what at the beginning. The another is using how at the beginning. Okay. So, look at the first sentence. He said to me, how foolish the boy is. And I returned the reporting bar. He explained with solo that if the operative sentence means something positive, then we will use exclaim with joy that. On the other hand, if the positive sentence, if the uh, operative sentence means something negative, we will use exclaim with sorrow that as reporting bar. If something is positive in the reported speech, we will use exclaim with joy that. Or if something is if the reported speech means something negative, we will use exclaim with sorrow that. Okay. And the sentence is, how foolish the boy is. It is a matter of sorrow. It is a matter of sadness or grief. It never be a matter of happiness or joy. So, I will use explain with, explain with sorrow that. Number first. Number two, the subject. Okay. Subject. This is the third person, uh, this is the third person and it will, it has no chance. The third place, the third place we will use what? Okay. There was is, is, is is changed as was. Because we have to change the reporting bar, we have to use, change the reported speech tense according to corresponding tense, corresponding tense, corresponding past tense. Okay. If there is, is, it will be was. And a very, at the fourth place, very. Okay. And at the fifth place, adjective. Adjective. If 
with my reported speech of a few sentences he started with how at the beginning and if it also means the native something i will use ask them with so do that and in all cases all types of sentences in the same place subject the boy in the third place the verb the verb all types of verbs and then in the fourth place very very and the fifth place adjective okay look at the second sentence she said to him she said to him what an indigent man you are it is a matter of happiness it is a matter of our enjoyment if a man becomes intelligent so i have used she asked me with joy that asked me with joy that as a putting verb and then subject you are the subject of the sentence you you is the second person you is the second person it will uh, relate to the object the object is him him will be changed as subject he is objective and him objective is uh, subject is he he and in the third case as usually we will use bar there was r there was r and now it has become was okay and a adjective a adjective before very a adjective before very and then the uh, adjective plus intelligent man intelligent man adjective plus so this is the number one number two subject number three verb a fourth place in the fifth place very and in the sixth place is adjective plus okay this is the oh yeah this is how we can change the action of the previous sentence if it is started with what again i am telling look at the row this sentence is started with what at the beginning and it is a positive sense it is a positive wish so i have you asking with joy and asking with joy and then the subject in all places the second position will be subject and in the third place what was corresponding tense corresponding past tense okay and a adjective yeah adverb adjective a and adverb be very adjective a and adverb very in the fourth and fifth place and last in the last place adjective plus adjective phrase and is a man adjective phrase okay and look at my last sentence he said to me what a funny story i told what a funny story i told this sentence is started with what at the beginning uh, so and this is a funny story it is a matter of joy for us so i have used the reporting verb as exclaim with surprise them i can also use exclaim with joy them as you wish best you can use exclaim with uh, surprise them and in the second place as usually verb uh, so the subject subject and in the third place i have to use verb in the third place verb in the third place verb at my first two sentences first two sentences there was the uh, auxiliary part be verb and the last sentence is different from that from them it is started with uh, in this sentence we have a principal part i told principal part 
principal rule will also change according to the rules. Okay. And as it was the past tense, my reported speech was in the past tense, independent past independent tense. It will change as past perfect tense. Okay. We know that the past perfect past independent tense uh, active uh, direct speech will change into past perfect tense. And if I make to try to make past perfect, I have to use had after subject had and pp or will verb and pp past participle form. And then a very funny story as usually very after adjective and adjective plus adjective plus. Okay. Okay, so if you think it is hard, it is not true, I think that it is easy. Just look again. Ah, my sentence was with what? With what? So, in all types of sentence, you will use estimate, enjoy that, and so that according to the Positivity and negativity. And then in the second place will be subject. And the third place, verb. Maybe principal verb, or maybe modal verb, or maybe auxiliary verb. Okay, anything else. And in the fourth place, a, a victim a. In the fifth place, adverb very. Adverb very. And in the sixth place, adjective plus. Okay, so I think that it is not a, a very tough matter for you. If you just wish to learn, if you just determine to learn it, you easily will learn it. Okay, I am again, for the last, I am again telling it. At first, we will use reporting bar as Explain with joy that or so that and the second one is subject of the reported speech and the third place is verb or tense of the reported speech and fourth place is air, adjective air, article air and very and verb and then the Adjective plus and then the adjective plus. Okay, if it is with one and if it is with how, it is easier. You will just use estimate, joy that, estimate, so that, and the subject, one, very, and adjective. There is no adjective, there is no article, there is no article. Okay. So I think that uh, it is easy and it will, my class will help you. Ah, so far I can guess. And if you uh, try to learn, you can. Okay. You will practice in your house. And obviously, I will talk about on different topics on next days. Till then, stay well, stay safe, Allah is.